Hi friends, this is Manish Pandey. Welcome back. Today in this tutorial, we are going to learn about how to get total page count of word in UiPath. So this is another tutorial of UiPath word automation. So now let me first show you here, you know, I have this, I have taken five word documents and each document has different, different page, total page count. So if I will open this word document, so you can see here, like we have a total page that, that is, uh, you know, one page, page one of one. If you we'll open the second page, uh, second document, then we have a document three pages. Same as that, if you'll we'll open another document, we'll have a different, different pages. If we have multiple documents here and we need to extract the word page count, then how can we do that? So basically uh, we have multiple options multiple you know ways to extract the page count first I can tell you here first I can show you first you know uh, you can just uh, you know click on that and press alt from your keyboard and double click on that from your you know using your mouse left click so once you'll you will do that uh, this properties will be opened and then you have to click on these details and then go to the pages here then you can see here we have a pages that is one page again same way if you are going to the you know fourth document again press alt and double click we are going to the pages we have this four pages right so based on that also you can you know extract this page count another like you know the same way you have to just click on that and just press alt and then press enter so it will open this properties go to the go to the details and capture this pages so same way uh, if you need to capture you can design your process to capture these you know this pages count another way that let me open this so we can open this word document or any word document to capture the pages count and we have to go to the file and then click on info it means we want to see the information of this word document and then right side here in the properties we can see the pages so we have the total two pages in this word document so by this way also you can capture the page count the fourth way you just need to go to the you know click on view then click on properties then automatically it will go to the info section of this properties and you can capture these pages from here so it will sometime it takes time to load this so after some time it loads and it shows the page count now the fifth way to open this one you are here by default whenever you will open this document the by default the home tab will be there so what you have to do you have to uh, take a send hotkey to you know send the you know, shortcut key so what you have to pass you have to pass alt wsp so what will happen it will open the same section and then only using one send hotkey you can just open this page and then you can just extract this one right so let me show you here I have this five documents Th I have designed this process now let me run this control F5 and you can see here that we'll get a uh, total page count here in this uh, right line in output here so let me run this and you can see one by one it will open this word document and it will follow the same steps here it will capture the pages So this is the fourth document it is capturing one by one sometime like if you think that is uh, it is not capturing that so you have to you know put the delay there then you can easily capture that so I will show you while you know doing that practically now if we'll go to the output section and you will see here we'll have the you know page count that is one three two and eight so here you can see that is missed because uh, that document you know it took some time to show that pages so what we have to do let me first show you how can we do that so first we need to take one assign activity and first if we have multiple pages so we need uh, you know to collect all these file names from this 
folder so first we need a you know word files and that will be a in a collection of string or you can say array of a string let me select array of a string here and then here you know that we need to write here directory dot get files directory dot and then open close bracket and here we need to pass that path from where we need to capture these collect these documents so we have this one and this is inside the you know the project folder so we just we can just you know copy this name and we can paste inside this double quotation now this is done for the collecting the files now we need to iterate through you know this using this for each loop activity one by one so we'll take for each we'll just put here and then we can go to the properties and change this to a string and then take the name that is for each word file and then here we have a word files now one by one I need to open this word document so how can we open so we need to take one start process activity and then we just need to put that word file this file where we are getting the each file names now using this activity it will open that word document and then so basically that will open that word document so what we need to do for first time I need to design this process so I need to open that word document now what will I do uh, I need to go to the you know uh, the file and then info section here so you know that we have a shortcut key so to send the shortcut key we have to use send hotkey now indicate on the screen that here now just select here alt because I need to send the hot short keys that is alt WSP so alt WSP it means I need to write WSP now this is done just go to the selector here and just take that so here we have word document underscore one dot DX DOCX but on the next run we'll have a two three four five six also so this is the part of selector you know we need to make changes here I need to change with the wildcard so now that's done now using this shortcut key what will happen it will just press alt WSP so it will open this one now I just need to capture this pages here so sometime I have already told you that and you have already seen that that after this sending this hot key it takes time to you know show that so this page is number so what I can do click on this send hotkeys go to the properties and here in the delay after I can put here you know five second so once I will put here five thousand it means that is five second so after each five seconds that will capture that pages now I can take a get text activity to get the you know pages count that is a text now let me indicate on the screen this one sometime what happens currently my UI framework is AA and sometime we have this so if you're going to capture this you are unable to capture that right we can capture this this but we cannot capture this pages number so what do you have to do you have to press F4 so once you we'll press F4 so it will change the UI framework that is the technology so once again change that and then currently our framework is AA right that is active accessibility so then you can select that click on that element now I need to just click on that one and you know that every time will not have the one pages so what I have to do I have to just go to the selector and and this will not be every time was sa same document so again we need to replace that with the selector a uh, wildcard and currently we are going with the IDX2 because IDX means first index and this is the second index so it will capture based on the second index of this properties part so that's okay there's no need to you know uh, check for the pages or something so we'll go through the IDX2 always now just press OK 
now this is done just uh, let me take one variable so let's see we have variable not right so let me press control K and then here page number right so this is uh, a string now I just can take here one right line activity and I will put here page number so what is the page number I need to put here plus page number right uh, so here in the output section it will store all this it will write all this page number now this is done so I need to close this word document also so how can I close that so I can take one close application I can just take here after writing this and now just indicate on this screen the complete here now just go to the selector again and make sure that you are putting here star so that it can capture all this word documents even the name is like word document one two three four five so if you think that we have this word documents and everywhere in every word documents our file name is word document so we have the similar name so I can just keep the that things and then replace with the star for every other changing names right now just press ok and this is done now what I can do I can just close this word document and just run this so this is done so it will open one by one word document and trying to send the sort keys to open this info and then collect the pages and then is close that that word document So you have seen here that you know we have you know put there five second delay so that it can you know wait for five seconds to load this pages count right so five second enough for that now go to the output and you can see it has captured the pages number the total page count that is one three two four eight right so by this way you can capture total page count so I hope you like this video so if you really like this then please press like button and please subscribe this channel if you have not subscribed yet. Thank you so much friends. Thank you for watching this video.